All right, welcome guys. Um, five minute timer for warm up is gonna start right now. If you're going for a run, I'll see you in five minutes, if not before. Otherwise, jump in with me. We'll just do a variety of stuff. We're just gonna start with an in-place jog. So if you wanna get that going, in-place jog. Ready, set, go. All right, put those feet together. Let's go side to side line jump. Then we'll just move into some skaters. Side to side skaters, just hop to one side, kick that back leg through until it's straight. Oh, thank goodness there's a little hot breeze on my deck today. Hot breeze is better than no breeze. All right, let's break it down. Here we go. We're going to do some sets of squats and push ups because I don't have them um, really in your workout today. And I want to make sure those challenge people are able to work on their squats and push ups. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start with 20 squats, 15 push ups. Then we'll go and we'll go to a new round where we'll drop five reps each. So everybody go ahead and start. 20 squats, 15 push-ups. on your push-ups guys so let's push up the squat All right, so we're back up for round two and you finish your push-ups. We're gonna drop those squats by five. So we're gonna do 15 squats and we're gonna drop for 10 push-ups. You wanna mix up your squat, that's up to you. Good stuff, guys. As you finish those push-ups, we'll go into a final round of 10 squats, five push-ups. Again, if you want to mix up that squat and do a different type, go ahead. Only got 10 on this last round. As you finish and you come to your feet, go ahead and Frankenstein walk. Get a little stretch in there. Good, and let's go ahead and stride it out 
by doing 10 lunges and then go ahead and have a seat on your mats and start some fly sit-ups. So 10 lunges total and start your fly sit-ups. Start those fly sit-ups, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get our timer set for our workout today. While you guys stretch it out. All right, guys, go ahead and wrap up there. Grab a quick drink, stretch anything you need to. Um, get some weights close by. We are going to um, go through four actually different exercises. Well, actually it's just three. Um, to start kind of as a warm up. one's gonna be a balance exercise, which is gonna be great. And then the other one's gonna be um, essentially kind of just an upper body and core exercise. So we're gonna be on timer today. I find that that tends to be most easy um, as far as just kind of following all along at the same uh, pace. We'll all be doing the same exercise and we won't have to count reps. So what we'll do is we're going to do a one minute exercise today, followed by a 30 second exercise, another one minute, which oftentimes today we'll be switching sides. And then we'll finish with another 30 second exercise. We'll take a brief break before we start another round and we'll do somewhere between two and three rounds. Just kind of depends on um, how it goes. So we will do a nice warm up set where we're going to grab whatever weight you have. It does not matter what it is. We are going to stand on one leg. Just think about you're going to do a one leg deadlift here, but instead, the slight bend here, you're just going to balance and we're going to pass the weight from hand to hand. Okay? Just back and forth, balanced. Okay? Try not to tap that other foot. Actually, just kind of want that other leg to be kind of behind you like this, almost like in a Fonda if we were doing like an extension, a leg extension. So for the whole first minute, we are doing all that on one leg. That is gonna get a little bit tricky. Um, we'll then go into a set of figure eights. Okay, so we'll be squatting for our figure eight. And we'll be, I lied to you, I got ahead of myself. We're actually gonna be doing a single arm press for your 30 second exercise. So all one side, doesn't matter which side it is. And then we'll just repeat those by doing the other leg balanced pass back and forth, and we'll do the other arm press, okay? So those will be our exercises um, right now, and uh, I'll mix it up, I think, on round two for you guys, just to keep a variety in there. So pick a leg, pick a weight, and slight bend in the knee, so it's kind of like a mini squat, and then you're just going to pass that weight side to side. I'll do it with you. Here's our start. Here we go. We're moving. You probably couldn't hear my warm up or a warm up uh, buzzer. So go ahead and get it going. Doesn't matter which leg it is. Try to balance. And sometimes you may have to tap that opposite foot to the ground. Otherwise, keep it back behind you. If you have a dumbbell, that's fine. Kettlebell's fine. Nice tight core. Nice work. Switch up my weight. You got 10 seconds here. The next sound you hear is going to turn us into our single arm press. Pick an arm, doesn't matter which one. Offset those feet. You can turn or not turn, that's up to you. The next sound, we go back to our one leg balance weight pass. 
Eight seconds here. Go. Switch your legs now. Get that balance point. I picked my weaker leg first. So I'm actually much better on this leg. Nice job. Nice work. Single arm press will be next. We're getting there, last few seconds here. Finish this out, we'll take a brief break. I'll talk to you about the next set. I'm just gonna switch it up just a little bit. Switch that one leg balance exercise to something new. We'll keep our single arm pressing. Good, quick rest time here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our figure eights for the first part of this next round. We're gonna do it for one full minute. So think about it, you're kind of in chair pose, right? The whole time. You're seated like you're in a squat. And then you're gonna stay in that seat and you're gonna pass the kettlebell through. At 30 seconds, I will let you know. And that means you will change direction. We will then go into our single arm press. We'll go back to figure eight. And if you want to add in a press for your figure eight on round two, you're just gonna pass it through, press it. Other leg, press it, okay? If you'd rather just stick with figure eights, just kind of depending on what weight you have and how, how you can maneuver it, that's up to you, okay? So we go figure eight, single arm press, figure eight press, single arm press. Here we go. Grab a weight. We go stay seated get that weight moving chin up hopefully Kona doesn't pick her head up during this I'm gonna get whacked in the head with the kettlebell get up here a little bit so I can see my timer and check y'all's perfect form of course switch direction Fill in that figure eight pass, just changing direction. Next movement will be back to our single arm press. Almost there guys, five seconds. Go. Single arm press, take a side. Back to figure eights next. If you want to press, you can. go. You're either doing figure eight or figure eight press with both hands. Nice work, guys. That's halfway right there. Keep it up guys, keep it up, here we go. 
Back to our single arm press in 10 seconds. Here we go, single arm press, guys. Almost there. And rest. Good stuff. Good warm up set, guys. We're just going to do two for that, for that one because it was both arms and legs. Got us good and warm now. We're actually going to go into a chest set next. So we're going to be laying on our back with our weights. So I'll be, have, I'll be down here next to Kona doing some penguins. We're gonna be doing a chest press. Whatever kind of chest press works for you, I'll just kind of demonstrate real quickly what the first one will be and then the second option you'll have. So for one full minute, whatever weight I have is gonna be either here with dumbbells or maybe in narrower if you have a single weight. But basically all we're gonna do is press them away from our body, okay? Press it up, press it in. So thank you, Kona. If you have dumbbells for the second one minute round, you can do flies if you prefer, okay? So flies are here, it's just another type of chest press. If you want to just do the same kind of press here or even narrow a press, you can do that. But in between, there are 30 second exercises. So that first 30 second exercise, drop those weights, place those hands down here, and we're going to flutter for 30, okay? So we go chest press, flutter, back to chest press or chest flies. Then the last set of 30 is going to be scissors. All right. So just in case you couldn't hear me, we're doing a chest press for one minute, 30 seconds of flutters. Another chest press or chest fly, and then 30 seconds of scissors. After that, we'll take a quick break before we get into round two. Got my timer set. Everybody doing some type of chest press right now. Nice work, guys. Get close. The next sound you hear, we will be going into our flutter kicks. 10 seconds. Try to keep them moving. Flutter kicks are next. Here we go. Flutters. Set those weights down. Nice straight legs. Flutter goes up and down. Back to chest press or chest fly.
All right, scissor kick time. Scissors. Nice work, guys. Almost there. And rest time. Good stuff, guys. I don't know. Um, kind of depending on what your um, weights are, we're going to kind of determine on the second round, like how quickly your reps are. So we're going to do this one one more time through. Chest press or chest fly. And our flutters and our scissors. If you want to mix up your flutters and your scissors, a way to do that would be to make them longer and not such quick, short ones. You can always kind of just mix them up a little bit. Same thing with the scissors. You just make them wider, make them slower, okay? So those are your options there. Chest press, anything you want. It can be narrow, it can be wide, it can be fly, whatever you want. One more round, guys, here we go. There's your warning. And we're moving. Looks good, guys. Be happy I didn't make you combo the chest press with the flutters and the scissors. We have done that before. I thought I would separate them today. Good stuff, guys. Still got 30 seconds here. chest press or chest flies. Here we go. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. All right. Last set here. Scissor kicks. Widen them out if you want to. You can slow them down, you can widen them out, whatever you gotta do. And rest. Good stuff, guys. Drink break here if you need it. We will be coming back up to our feet for the next set. Okay, nothing fancy here. We are going to go through a set of shelves to start. We're gonna do an entire minute on one side, okay? So what that looks like real quickly is a single weight. It's a dumbbell. I like to turn it sideways for this move. 
Um, if it's a kettlebell, you kind of want to grip it with your thumbs inside of the handle, but you're going to be here, one side, outside of the shoe, bring it up across your body, put it up on the shelf, okay? So let me show you just a couple consecutive so that you can see what they look like. What I want you to do is stay all on one side. So I'm always going right to left, back down, awkward lunge squat, coming across my body, turning, and putting it up on the shelf. Then we get to our 30 second exercise, which is simply going to be a one side side bend. So nice break there after our shelves. Then we go to back to our next minute exercise, switching sides on the shelves. And then the last 30 is gonna be switching sides on your side bend. So nothing but side bends and shelves for this. This is gonna be two to three rounds. We might have time to sneak in three rounds. So we'll see as we go, okay? Nice tight core. Make sure that you're not bending over on your shelves. That's the key on that one, okay? Keep your chin up. Got my timer ready? Good chin up when you go down into that awkward lunge squat. Try to look up. You can turn those feet. As you turn. Keep breathing. Hang in there guys, final 10 seconds here. Before we go into our first side bend. Looking good. All right, side bend time, here we go. Remember you're keeping that weight close to your leg. Burn it all one side out at a time. Reminder, we'll be going into the other side. Shelves next. Here we go. Other side. Back to shelves. I want to make sure you have the appropriate time for each exercise. So everybody doing shelves. Nice work here, guys. Keep pushing. You've got a final 15 seconds here before we hit our other side bend. Here we go. Side bend time. Other side. Almost there. Good, rest time here. What I'm gonna do for your next round is I'm gonna go ahead and do the shelves um, for that first minute. But what I'm gonna do is tell you halfway through and you're gonna switch sides. Then we'll go into our side bend. Then we'll hit a different exercise for our other minute. And then we'll be back to our side bends. I'm debating between two exercises right now. So on the fly, I'm going to tell you at that minute which exercise we're doing, okay? I'm starting to get rained on. So you might get to see me up close and personal as I try to stay under my umbrella. Good 
Good boy. All right, so first minute, we're doing shelves. I'll let you know halfway. That way you can switch sides. Good enough. All right, here we go. Pick a side. Good stuff. You are halfway. Switch sides on your show. Good stuff, guys. Ten seconds here. We will be into our first side bend. Here we go, side bend. Pouring at my house. We are going to go into heavy pants next. If you have the ability to wait, feet together, pull it up your heavy pants. Here we go, heavy pants. Drop this down just a little bit so you can see, close leg squat, throw it up my heavy pants. If you've got a single kettlebell, I'll let you know halfway. That way you can switch arms. Not doing very good here. I may be having to run in size. My computer is starting to get wet. Not going to work. Halfway. I'll keep you all on the timer. Let me move this into drier area. Good stuff, guys. We'll have one more side bend. Almost there. And switch. Here we go. Last side bend here. Good, and rest. Good stuff, guys. I don't think we need a third and final round for that because I have something fun to finish with today. So if you can do me a favor, grab a quick drink. And if you wouldn't mind starting a sit-up twist for me while I try to move myself indoors for this last set that we're going to do. So quick drink, have a seat. When you sit up, elbows are here, right? And you're going to twist one direction, then the other direction, and then come back down. You don't have to get a certain count. I'm just going to move myself inside. I'll stop you so that we can finish out with this final exercise. Ignore that timer, guys. That has nothing to do with you guys. Just keep up with your sit-up twist. I'll be moving in here in just a second.
Good to be. Guys, go ahead and rest. Um, hopefully, you can see me down here in the dark. Let me turn on the light real quick. All right. What we're going to do is we will be down here on our mats. I'm going to tilt my mat just a little bit so that you can see me a little bit diagonal. Because what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go into a tabletop hold. And from this tabletop hold, we're going to do a couple of movements. Okay, so let me just show you what a ta regular tabletop looks like. I'm on all fours, and then I'm just going to elevate those knees up off the ground. Okay, once we're in that position, we're going to do what we call a donkey kick. Okay, five, still trying to maintain that form, and then five donkey kicks on the other leg. Then you're going to come look straight ahead and do five alternating shoulder taps per shoulder okay so it'll end up being 10 total donkey kicks 10 total shoulder taps then i want you to have a seat and i want you to do five perfect flat outs so extend those legs to six, six inches pull those knees in try to touch those toes and fully extend again as soon as you're done with those five you're back here back to your tabletop and then we're going to do those five donkey kicks again Again, you're in the tabletop the entire time. We're gonna do this for a total of three minutes. Okay, so it's not the same structure we've been doing on the timer. You're gonna go in fives on everything for three straight minutes. I've got your timer ready. Think about the position you wanna be in in your tabletop, okay? And try not to move out of that tabletop. Got your timer right here. Ready, set, go. Oh, just try to get the dog out of here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nice job, guys. Don't forget to rotate into your five flat outs before you start your tabletop donkey kicks again. On those donkey kicks, check where your other knee is. That other knee is supposed to be close to the ground as you're kicking back in those donkey kicks, okay? If you need to look straight ahead every once in a while to make sure that your form is good, go for it. I got a little visitor here checking on your form. Good clean teeth. Did you get your teeth cleaned? Was it fun? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You show mama what you got. All right, I'm jumping in with you. you show me. She gets points every time she wears it. Wow. So you can't lose it. That's awesome, Kai. What is that called? What kind of style of shirt is that, Kyler? What's the color? Um, blue. What is it again? Tie dye. Tie dye. Tie dye. Tie dye. Cool. I mean, where did that rain come from, huh? Nice work, guys. I'll check that timer for you. See where we are. Nice work, guys. Keep it up. We're getting there. 
Last minute, guys, here we go. Finish strong. If you're starting a new set, that's okay. Last 30 seconds, guys. Finish it out. Nice job, guys. Last few seconds here. Five seconds. I, I. I sing the rain. And time. If you want to finish out that whole set, you may do so. Otherwise, we're going to go into a final one minute hold. Obviously, you're probably not going to choose tabletop, but what your options could be six inch leg hold, which we have already done a lot of uh, scissors and flutters. So it could be plank, could be high plank, could be side planks, or maybe even boat. Um, I did encourage some people the other day to do a reverse plank because that's kind of challenging as well. If you're doing that reverse plank, keep in mind your fingertips are going to face your behind and you're pulling up those hips and you're squeezing those glutes, okay? So your choice, pick something you want to work on, something that might be challenging for you to do for one minute. So I'm going to set your timer. This is the last minute of your class today, so give it your best. I'll pick something that's challenging for me, and that would be boat. Ready, set, go. Tyler's gonna sing the rain song while you guys finish this out. Come over here and sing it. What's happening outside? Sing it. Sing it. Snoring. Right? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Her version is maybe the newer version of that. 25 seconds left. Get them up. Do whatever you're holding. Keep it up. Almost there. Last few seconds. And time. All right, guys, we made it. Kaylee, is it raining at your house? 